Welcome to the video tutorial about GitHub. I want you to learn Git and GitHub. It's not difficult, it can be difficult, but with what we need it, it's not difficult. We're gonna use it just for us. What are the advantages? It's like a cloud server, it's like Dropbox, it's like OneDrive. You get your you put your configuration files on there, you put your icons on there, your themes, your scripts, and that's what I want you to learn. A script is nothing more than a text file where you put in sudo pacman s firefox, meaning get me firefox. But it's not just firefox you want, you want, I don't know, 100 applications. Will you type it every time again when you install your system? No, not interesting. So what if we typed it once, put it in a text file and tell this text file to execute itself? So run sudo pacman minus s firefox and so on, a long list. So that's an interesting uh, idea and that's the power of Linux. So why not use two things and at the same time, write your scripts, put them online, share it with others because that's also quite a big advantage, it's not just a backup for you, but it's also an, a way to share the information, uh, share the knowledge. Uh, how do we proceed? So we made an account, we're already uh, logged in. We have an account, especially for this tutorial, an arch merged one, and we have not started anything yet. So how do we start now? Start the project. We have to give this thing a name. So we have to, well, we should choose a name that we remember later on because when we are on Arch merged, it's going to be all black. We don't have a desktop environment and so on. So that's phase two, phase three and phase four. It's all black. So we need to have a name that we can remember. And we could say, for instance, I'm going to make an Arch merged budgie. And there it is. So let's make this one. What is it? Well, you know what it is, but for other people, it might be interesting to know what it actually is. So it's an arched merged ISO. We took that one and we installed a desktop environment budgie on it. So that's basically what it's going to be. We use the arch merged ISO, a stripped version of the arch merge. And we're gonna install that one so other people will know then we're gonna press create repository and we get this url and that's what we're gonna need if we want to run our scripts later on we can use that as well here now because we need to set it up so it's created you can uh, google it you can find it you can surf to it but it's still empty so i have created and maybe a good idea for you too to have a specific folder maybe on, uh, on Dropbox or on OneDrive, or Google Drive, a, a folder anyway, where you put your GitHubs in. So open a terminal here. And the power of this Git thing is that you can clone things from the net. So make a copy, clone it. Control Shift V and enter. And it says warning, you appear to have cloned an empty repository. Quite right. We just created it, it's so empty, but it's not that empty. With Ctrl H, you'll see that there is a hidden folder specifying all the uh, extra data it needs to configure itself, the Git. All right, so what's next, Eric? Next, you go to my GitHub, meaning I'll keep uh, this one very up to date. So this is going to be the github.com arch merge linux amd arch merge d budgie. And these two things are the only things we actually need. So I'm gonna make these uh, always up to date. So if you notice that's a version 2 behind it, then something changed. I made a change in the code, I improved the code. That's the only thing. So if you see a difference in numbering, that's fine. All right, so we can clone this thing as well, just by clicking here and getting out of here, of course, and putting it next to your own. So this is the one from the net. From anywhere on the net, you can clone 
the configuration files from people and say let's have a look what they create let's compare and see what i can learn from other ones github that's how i learned that's how you can learn okay so now you have two what the one from yourself and the one from me so what we need is just this one if you just want to go minimal and say i'll write my own scripts and that's what this tutorial is about not just copy paste and run we'll come show that in another video but this one is really setting it up so getting ready for phase two phase three phase four meaning use the arch merged iso run the scripts and in phase four you're going to use the arch iso and run the scripts okay let's edit this one because i don't think you're called eric dubois there are a few of you out there in uh, canada for instance there are people named eric dubois but i don't think so so this one can go change into your name and email can go but don't forget to change it so arch merged with a d i have created just for the occasion an arch merged in, uh, at gmail.com don't mail me on it i'm not going to use it it's just for the tutorial so save so now he knows my name, he knows my email and some other settings that we'll get into in another tutorial, maybe, but it's not important. It's all set. You have to run the setup just once. So setup git version one and he asks my password. You just have to uh, bear in mind that you need a, a long password, a difficult password, but you have to remember it all the time. You have to type it from time to time check Ta -da -ta -da. nope I thought so gonna try again but I'll pause <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. It's just the password from your computer. It's not uh, the GitHub uh, password you need now. Not yet. This is your just your personal password of your computer. That's it. My mistake. So that been done. Then that's that's done. You will have a file in the config somewhere in here that says um, here it is that says who you are and so on. So let's have a look at our own github so nothing is here if we can if we refresh there's nothing there it's empty but now we're gonna say look we have some text here some scripts here let's put it online and all you have to do is press dot slash jit enter checking for newer files online so it's going to see first is there something new get it and then uh, write your commit comments um, this is my first commit yay! and it's going to create the git and it's going to create the setup and it asks now really the password and the login from github okay uh, let's think let's think let's think let's pause let's pause okay that's arch merged and now a long password Et voilà. Git push push pardon done, and then you go here and you go here, and this is your empty one. Refresh it, and you'll see your first commit a minute ago. Git version one setup. Git version one, and you can go inside and you can share this knowledge with people because you can they can read just online on their iPhone on their Android just what's inside here and see if they can help you or if they can uh, find a fix for their issue. So this is just basically getting ready. Um, we have now everything available here. We can add more scripts. There are more scripts here, installing the light DM and the budget desktop, the sound, the Bluetooth, all, you can all read and see what things I add uh, and so on and so on. 
but we're gonna start from scratch and that's why this tutorial is here and this github is now ready we are ready to add lines and, and comments and the only thing you need to get started with a new script is Ctrl C, Ctrl V. This one is now a copy, F2, and then you have to name it uh, to something like, for instance, uh, let's start with something small, install Firefox, no uh, spaces, just a hyphen maybe, but uh, no spaces. Install Firefox, of course, this has to go out. You can write here maybe installation done or something as a message to yourself that's okay and get rid of all the things that are not supposed to be there uh, this one are not supposed to be there is going to here something there like so and all you have to do is what you would type in a terminal so sudo pacman minus s firefox save now we have written a script Congratulations, this is your first script. Right mouse click, properties, permissions. Yep, it's a script, all right. Allow this file to run as a program. You can see it here, or you can see it here if you like to do an ls minus al. These are all green guys, green suckers, meaning you can execute me. All right, we can. Let's run. Install Firefox. Do you want to reinstall Firefox? Okay, yes, for the sake of the tutorial, it's going to be reinstalled. And that's how you can run and rerun and, and try to make your scripts better and better and better. Every installation, I fix my scripts, I upgrade my scripts, and there will be typos in there, and that's no problem, we understand. And it's that's how it goes, you improve over time. And after three years of i3 configuration, we have now an i3 configuration. That's, that's good. That's nice. That's nice looking. So that's how you proceed, I think. It's the best way to proceed. And I'll reuse this code here when I'm going to teach in Arch Merged and show you how to install the budgie from scratch. Okay, we're ready. We're ready. This is our GitHub. Let's have a look. Is it online? No, let's like let's have a look here. Is Firefox online? Oh no, it's not. Why? Ah, we didn't push it to the net. We didn't say get this one. This one we can forget. Actually, we can delete it, but let it be there. Um, this is the one we need. We have to tell them push it to the net. And it's in the lines there somewhere. And I'll show you another tutorial. The only thing you need to know is Firefox has been created, yep. Voila. And then it's going to push it to the net. And then you say, reload, install Firefox. Firefox has been created. Fine, great. You can click on it and you can see, oh yeah, Firefox. Fantastic. So we're ready for the next tutorials. We have our own GitHub and we can push to it and can change things and we can Make sure that everything that we're going to need for an, uh, a distro that we choose, being it Cinnamon and being it Pudgy or anything else, it's online. We can share it with others and we have a backup for ourselves. All right. Enjoy.